Please. Look at her, mommy. I have fun. All right. We are in downtown Sevierville, and we're gonna try to go to Greg's Burgers today. We haven't been there yet. It's right across the road. Uh, it looks like there's some construction around the place, but I don't know if it's for Greg's or not for Greg's. But it's really cute down here. First, we hadn't been down here and so we were building the cabin. Yes, yeah, since we had to come get permits and stuff. Yeah, and that's been five years. Yeah. Yeah, at least six years. Long time. Long time. So that's actually they've done a lot down here. Uh, the Bruce Street is uh, they have the beer festival here during October, but it's actually really cute down here now. They don't. It they've is. They've done a lot. They've done a lot down Got here. Got some murals painted on the walls. Got to check our Instagram for some pictures of that. But we're gonna head into the grades if we can. Kids are running around being crazy. Somewhere. What's new? Where's that? <laughs> They allowed us to sit inside and wait. Um, get this big table up front. It's a high top bar. I can't really sit here because of the arrows. So we get, I guess, to put us in the booth. Or maybe it has to be a booth. I hope a booth. I hope a booth. But um, interaction so far has been great. She was really, really nice. She came back over here twice uh, to us. Yeah. And she's been really sweet the whole time. And we've only been waiting about 45 seconds. <laughs> so. Right. First, she said wait 15 minutes. Now she came back to the wait for five. Yeah. So. Now, on a side note, when we were coming in, there was a person outside trying to find a parking space because there's parallel parking along the street, but there's also a lot that we parked in. We came in, put our name down, sit down, and everything. These poor people are still trying to parallel park. Are, oh, they are, aren't they? <laughs> this is the third place that I've seen them try to park in. They, they really are. They're all just trying to parallel park. Poor people. We got to do a four. <laughs> My name's too. Kind of strange little lot behind me. Hold on. Nah, I'll be okay. So we got seated. We're in the booth. Um, there's no kids menu here, though, that we found. We hadn't asked about it yet. But she came to our drink order, and our server is super sweet. Yes, uh, is. Everybody here so far has been amazing. They're interacting with the kids and everything. And now Errol's turning the camera. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. But uh, we're going to get the menu and go over the menu in just a second. We have the starters, and I think we're going to get the nachos. They sound pretty good. And then down here are the burgers, and they all actually sound really good. And it's made with grass-fed beef, all natural, no hormones, no antibiotics, no steroids. I mean, these sound like really good burgers, so I'm kind of excited about it. And then there's the soups and local greens. That would be your soup and your salads. Then the soda pops and floats. And then the big dogs. That's the hot dogs. That trailer park really sounds interesting. And shakes. Ooh, death by chocolate. And then the house pies. Nachos brought out, kids screaming. That wasn't ours. Somebody else's. It's usually ours. <laughs> but look, look how amazing. Let me get my sure my microphone's on. It is. My microphone's on. <laughs> that looks really good. I haven't had anything here. We have never ever been here at all. Not very good things about it, but not a lot. Because I don't think I don't know a lot of people's been here, but they're back now. Yeah, they're really they're, busy. They're now. busy. 
So we're, uh, hopefully it's going to be good. I got the, the Tennessee burger, which has bacon jam and a bunch of other stuff on it. I don't remember. Stacy got the trailer park hot dog, uh, which looks really good, actually. And then Arrow got the kids hot dog. That's way too big for kids. Oh, my gosh. Lay got a hamburger and fries, and he's already into his. Like, nobody else ate yet. Is it good? He says it's good. This burger is huge. I don't know how you supposed to eat that. Swish it down, maybe. That's got an onion ring on it, too. The meat, I don't know for sure. I'll find out. I'm pretty sure they do, though. They grind it here. Because it's, it is definitely not a frozen patty. The people that own this own a restaurant in Knoxville, which is one of the most popular restaurants in Knoxville, in Market Square. There's always at least a two-hour wait for lunch there. It's called Stock and Barrel. And um, they do really good out there. So I'm assuming this is going to be really good here. And I got the one I've had is the meat's perfect. And the hot dog? I don't know what it is, but it's crazy good. Crazy good. So Stacy will have to take late to the restroom. And while that happened, we got our dessert. We got the peanut butter pie. And me yeah. and Arrow is going to try it without them, aren't we? You want to yeah. take it back? You take the first spot? Mm. What do you think? Is it good? Thumbs up. Now, this does look pretty amazing. They make it here. We asked them. It's all actually made here. They just come up with put it on top of the peanut butter pie. good it's not um it's not the best one I've ever had best minute red palm still comes from my grandma but uh, this is this is really good I don't want to pay for it I gotta take it somewhere I think I don't, know. I don't want to pay for it but um it's okay it's good I, I don't regret ordering it and I, I would order it again if I came back here Alright, we got the chicken. Uh, after everything, we get appetizer and desserts because we always do for you guys. Um, we are at $70.34 for a burger and hot dog lunch. That seems pretty expensive. But, I mean, look, just a kid's burger and hot dog. The kid's meal is $10. And it's not on the menu, the kid's meal isn't, but they do have one. And overall, I mean, I, I'm satisfied overall. I got, I got no real complaints, but we'll uh, settle this up and be back with you to do the final review. We're all done, all sold up. Uh, total bill after tip was 105.34. What we tend to do is tip. During Christmas season, we'll tip the bill, the full bill, and non-season, not all that season, we kind of do like half where our bill was. So we had $35 off of 70 or something. That's how that worked. Anyway, all the food's done. Um, I guess start at the, the nachos. They were good. I thought the nachos were really fresh, but really bland. To me, they had no flavor to them whatsoever. I didn't get, even the chili that was on there, it's not. It wasn't, wasn't too, very it wasn't, I thought I'd expect more, and, for $10 nachos, they were, but, you got a lot, you got a ton, you got a ton, and the, like, it wasn't that it was actually bad, it's just a little bland, bad. yeah, I mean, yeah, they're worth ordering, I guess, uh, I wouldn't order them again, but I, I don't hate that I ordered them the first time, I guess, it's the best way, yeah. and I had a bunch of 
grease in the bottle? I think that was cheese. I think I think cheese on one side. I think it's grease on the other. Oh. I'm pretty sure on one side was grease, nothing but grease. My side had cheese on that. But though. it was a, uh, it was good. It was okay. And then uh, we ordered. I got the Tennessee, Tennessee burger. She got the trailer park hot dog. Yeah. And the kids got hamburgers, hot dogs. Mine had um, bacon jam and onion ring and something else, something else. I don't know. Oh, it had a lot on it. It had a lot on it. But my burger was only like 14 bucks. Right? It was like 14 bucks. It. No, me, no, no. I don't know. I think that maybe. Huh, let me turn the back microphone off. If I can. There we go. Sorry. Kids the back kids there. are back there talking. So, um, who's that? Your burger. The burger. They grind the meat here. Yeah. Um, everything that said the buns are local somewhere. I don't know where the local is. I mean, I'm gonna say it. I can't, yeah, I can't. That's the best burger up here. I can't say it. Yeah. That's the best burger up because here. Because Party House is really good too. Party House has a better bun, but this meat. I don't know if they do or not. This meat was out of the world. It was out of this world. I love it. There's nothing wrong with my burger at all. So good. The fries, you can do without. They cut them here, but it's like they've been, they cook them, they like sit. It's like, like, it's like dark brown, like they've been sitting in the oil. Nothing crunchy about them at all, whatsoever. The onion rings were good. So if you come here, I'd, onion rings are great. Yeah, I think the onion ring is over the fries all day long. It's the best onion ring up here. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Um, her hot dog, I don't know what kind of hot dog it is. I don't. I think they stuff them here, but uh, I mean, I guess they could. But I don't know what, what kind of we didn't ask what, what brand or anything. We didn't ask what kind of hot dog it was. It was it amazing. Was huge. It was amazing. It was the best hot dog up here. <laughs> Everything's the best up here. I'm not quite as enthusiastic what she is about this place, but it is good, and I would definitely come back. Yes. Um, now the um, okay, thank you. The trailer park. What's going on? Yeah. The Trailer Park hot dog um, was good. It had too much going on. It had pickles and like chili, chili and, and cheese and the thing onions about their hot dogs though, mustard. Even with nothing on it, you still cannot eat it with one bite. Like you got to cut it up because the hot dog is huge. Big hot dog. They huge. put it on like it's not even on a bun. It's like on a sub roll. Yeah. So. Um, but um, the dessert was good. What was it? The Reese's peanut butter pie they make yeah. here. It was, um, it was good. Not the best. It's not the best up here. I didn't eat it. I don't like peanut butter stuff anymore. But, uh, yeah, it, it was good. It was fine. I don't, I don't regret it. I don't know how much to pay for that either. I have no idea. But, um, I, mean, I, got a I think it was seven or eight bucks. And it was, for the, it's a pretty small slice. But it was good. I mean, they, they covered it with the Reese's Crumbles on the top of it. How much was it? Seven dollars. Seven bucks. Yeah, I mean that's okay. So overall, I think uh, we would de definitely recommend you come here for sure. I think with a couple of recommendations that we made, onion rings instead of fries, um, yeah. little things like don't get the nachos with a pre blend, things like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, we will come back again. Uh, we won't order the same thing again, but we'll, we'll come back and we'll know next time. Absolutely. We just probably waste our money so you don't have to. Yep. I guess we end this video right here. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do. Give us a thumbs up. Both those things are free for you and it helps us tremendously. And we're so close to getting our thousand subs, guys. Yeah. So close. Keep pushing us and sharing us. We greatly appreciate that too. But Lady, you got something to say? You can flip it around here, like Lady say something to you. Make sure to hit that bell so you never start another video. And also, make sure. Comment down below if you like my joke. Comment down below if you like his joke. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. I was going to say bye. <laughs> back up for that one.